have scientists now found the real answers to how our solar system was formed. In the Cooper Belt, NASA discovered mysterious objects. Are these the oldest objects in the solar system, really the first pieces of the puzzle to finally explain our own existence? The answers to these questions bring us closer to understanding the fundamental processes that led to the birth of the planets and the origin of life. But the question remains, what else lies hidden in the unexplored vastness of the Cooper Belt? The Cooper Belt is one of the last unexplored regions of the solar system. Only one region is even more mysterious, the Oort Cloud, located around 7.5 trillion to 30 trillion kilometers outside the heliosphere. The Cooper Belt, which is around 4.5 billion kilometers wide, was discovered in 1992 by astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu. This discovery marked a turning point in our understanding of the entire solar system. Jewett and Liu used the 2.4 meter telescope at the Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii to search for evidence of objects beyond Neptune's orbit. Their persistence paid off when they discovered the first true Cooper Belt object, 1576019 to Q Bone. This discovery opened a new chapter in astronomy, confirming that a region full of smaller bodies exists beyond the known planets. Scientists refer to these bodies as KBOs or Cooper Belt objects. These range in size from tiny grains of dust to small planets. Since their discovery in the 1990s, scientists have suspected a colorful mix of objects within this belt, most of which are direct relics of the first moments of the solar system's formation. Imagine it like this. In the beginning, there was a dense collection of dust and gas that began to vibrate and then rotate faster and faster until the center of the cloud heated up and condensed to such an extent that a star was born. After the formation of the star, or sun, the remaining gases and dust began to clump together due to gravity, leading to the formation of planetesimals. These protoplanets later formed into all the large planets we know today, others into moons, and still others remained shapeless lumps traveling freely through the solar system as asteroids. All the materials that did not form larger bodies accumulated in regions such as the Cooper Belt, the Oort Cloud, or the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. These objects have remained largely unchanged for 4.6 billion years. Unlike our Earth, they have not undergone major upheavals and changes. Therefore, KBOs and similar objects offer us unique insights into the chemical composition and physical conditions of the early solar system. More than 1 trillion objects are spread across the 4.5 billion kilometers width of the Cooper Belt. The objects range in size from tiny grains of dust, pebbles, and stones the size of a soccer ball to boulders the size of a family home. The Cooper Belt is probably also home to many asteroids and possibly comets, although the Oort Cloud is the actual home of comets. Plus, the Cooper Belt is home to dwarf planets, including Pluto. The objects in the Cooper Belt probably accumulated here immediately after their formation. Regions such as the Cooper Belt and the Asteroid Belt were likely formed by gravitationally favorable fields that favored the accumulation of objects in these areas. We can be glad that all these objects are reasonably securely bound in the solar system. If they were flying around wildly, they would be a potential threat to our planet. There are 1 trillion objects in the Cooper Belt alone, another 1.1 million in the Asteroid Belt, and the number of objects in the Oort Cloud is still pure speculation, but there are probably trillions more. The other planets could only come to rest and form life like our home because these objects were securely bound. While we know quite well how the large planets such as Earth, Jupiter, and Saturn formed and changed over time, it is still largely unknown how and why the dwarf planets evolved. For almost a century, we only knew about Pluto and for almost as long included it in our fixed nine major planets of the solar system. Then came the discovery of the Cooper Belt and fascinating objects such as Eris, Make Make, and Haumea. Eris, discovered in 2005, is about the same size as Pluto and more massive. 
It sparked a debate about the definition of a planet, ultimately leading to Pluto losing its status as the ninth planet. Makemake, discovered in 2005 and named after the creator god of Easter Island mythology, is another large KBO. Hamia, discovered in 2004 and named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility, is known for its unusually fast rotation, taking only about four hours for a complete revolution. In addition to these three largest and best-known dwarf planets, there are many other minor planets in the Cooper Belt. Sedna, for example, is an enigmatic object whose orbit takes it far beyond the usual boundaries of the Cooper Belt. Quar, about half the size of Pluto, shows signs of cryovolcanic activity, which researchers did not expect. The small and sometimes quite misshapen dwarf and minor planets show such diversity and complexity that scientists suspect these objects form a world of their own and possibly share an exciting common history. At the moment, we don't know how many more objects there are in the Cooper Belt. Experts suggest there could be 100 or even more. This abundance of objects is why researchers had to redefine what constitutes a planet. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union created the category of trans-Neptunian objects or dwarf planets. Pluto did not make it into the League of Real Planets because its orbit is not fully cleared, meaning it does not have gravitational dominance. The Cooper Belt is also home to mysterious accumulations of water. Many of its objects are rich in water ice, which could contain pre-solar molecules older than the Sun itself. These icy time capsules might be key to understanding the distribution of water in the solar system and could be parts of the building blocks for life. Studying the composition and distribution of these icy bodies can help scientists shed light on the earliest sources of water and possibly unravel the mysteries of Earth's habitable zone and the possibility of life in the universe. We still do not know how water and life came to our planet. However, it is striking that asteroids and comets, which transported the most organic substances, consist of a mixture of dust, ice, and rock. They clumped together in the early days of the solar system, when our star was still very young and the planets had only just begun to develop. Imagine the incredible variety of objects traveling in this broadband at the edge of the solar system. Scientists could probably research here for another thousand years and still find new objects and surprises. And think about how huge the universe is the Cooper Belt, with all its diversity, would not even be a thin thread of hair within the cosmos. It would be nothing. We can only stand in awe and respect before these dimensions and the splendor of the universe. The first discovered Cooper Belt object, 1576019 to Q-bone or 15760 Albion, is a planetoid with an average diameter of 168 kilometers. At some point in the early days of the solar system, this object could have become a planet or its mass could have combined with other objects. It is still a mystery why some chunks merge while others, like 15,760 Albion, spend billions of years orbiting the sun like unfinished small planets. Albion was discovered because it was at its perihelion, its closest position to the sun, in 1992. It is currently moving away from the sun again, and in January 2018, it was 41.3 astronomical units or 6.2 billion. Probably the strangest KBO is Arakov. Initially called Ultima Thule, this remarkable object was renamed Arakov, which means sky in the language of the Powhatan and Algonquian Indians. This so-called binary contact object consists of two originally separate bodies that have gently come together. Its flat shape and relatively smooth surface contrast with the expected characteristics of collisions. If Arakoth was not formed by collisions, previously unknown processes of matter formation in the early solar system may have led to its unusual shape. If you love amazing videos, subscribe to this channel now.